Fuse is one of those legends that are criminally underrated and has a utility in all levels of play, seeing playtime ranging from public matches all the way into professional competitive lobbies. His passive gives him great depth as far as his throwables go, and his ultimate mother load allows for some incredibly strong late game outplays, especially when combined with certain other legends. Continue watching if you want to learn how to play Fuse in Apex Legends Season 12 in this recurring episode of Guide Wednesday, where I use my over 6,000 hours of Apex Legends experience to teach you how to play Apex. As of today, Fuse is the 11th most played legend in the game, mostly seeing playtime in normal lobbies and mid-tier ranked. But as I mentioned, he has really good value if you're going for wombo combos, and as such, he has seen play in high-tier competitive Apex and tournaments. His ultimate can be combined with several abilities in the game to almost guarantee you to win a teamfight. And the ability to see enemies through any obstacle is invaluable in the final ranks. But more on that later. Let's take a look at his kit. Fuse's passive Grenadier has two uses. The first part is that when you're throwing grenades, you use the grenade launcher on Fuse's right arm rather than your own arm, launching those grenades 70% faster. If you are holding the grenade, you can also track the bounces when throwing a frag grenade. This essentially makes an arc star feel like hitscan. Keep in mind that the frag grenades still have the same ignition time, meaning that they will blow up after 4 seconds. This means that you can't really skynade like usual when using Fuse's grenade launcher. Thankfully, Respawn added a fix to this, which allows you to disable it and throw grenades like normal. This can be toggled by hitting the utility action button, which is default H or down on the D-pad of your own controller, while you're holding a grenade. Also remember that due to the increased projectile speed, frag grenades will bounce off walls harder than if you weren't using your grenade launcher. You may not notice, but if you're using a Lobus Black Market to loot an item that can be stacked, you will pick up the whole stack instead of one of that item. For example, medkits or batteries. This also applies to Legend-specific stacks, such as Watson stacking Ultimate Accelerants, or in this case, Fuse stacking Ordinances. This is especially useful since as a Fuse, you want to try to carry as many grenades as possible with at least one stack per grenade type. You may want to try to coordinate with your team to carry extra grenades for them while they carry extra ammunition or heals for you. Fuse also has a unique type of grenades for himself, which is his tactical Knuckle Cluster. This grenade has two charges and after being launched, it sticks to an enemy or surface and after about 1.5 seconds, it explodes into a bunch of mini explosions. It's worth noting that these explosions don't affect your teammates, but they will hit the fuse himself. This cluster deals 10 damage upon the initial stick and the mini explosions are fixed on the point where the initial explosion sets off. Meaning that an enemy who keeps moving only gets hit by one of the explosions. But if they're stuck in one spot or area, they will continue taking damage from them. This effect also spreads to any more enemies who might be near the stuck opponent. The Knuckle Cluster can destroy doors, get stuck to the Crypto's drone, and disable Caustic's gas traps. A well-placed cluster will destroy abilities such as Lobos Black Market, Revenant's Death Totem, and Rampart's Amped Cover. While the ability has the chance to stick onto an enemy, it's very unlikely you'll consistently get to pull it off. Try using the Knuckle Cluster if you want to crowd control and keep enemies away from a certain area. You can even combine it with your grenades for a lethal barrage that they cannot dodge. Speaking of lethal barrages that cannot be dodged, Fuse's ultimate, the Mother Load, launches a bombardment that encircles a target in a wall of flame. When deployed, you will equip a launcher that allows you to line up the shot. After you fire it, it explodes mid-air and splits into multiple firebombs, which upon hitting the ground create a ring of fire that lasts for 17 seconds, and the ultimate itself recharges after 2 minutes. Keep in mind that certain map geometry may change the shape of the circle, but it will always try to create a circle going off the top of where you aimed in a cone shape. The mother load can be fired from up to 200 meters away. To assist you with this, you could hold ADS when using it to get a free times zoom effect. If you or an enemy touch the fiery ring, you will instantly take 35 damage and then burn for 5 seconds, which slows the player and does 8 damage per second for a total of 75 damage. If you continue to stand in the ring, it instead does 12 damage per second, leading to a 95 damage total. If you happen to touch the fire again while burn, this won't reapply the 35 damage, but it will reapply the burn effect. The fire does not damage teammates, but they will get slowed. Any enemies trapped within the ring will be revealed for Fuse and for his teammates. This makes it incredibly useful for late game circles, especially when there's a lot of smoke and cover around. Fuse can also apply the mother load on broken rooftops to reveal the enemies within those buildings. When using the mother load on an enemy team, you want to throw several grenades into the ring, forcing the enemies to either tank the grenades, the ultimate's fire, or your teammate's gunshots. Many opponents will panic and turn into very easy kills. The ultimate can also be used as an escape tool, or as a way to cut off advancing teams from third partying, or from just completely entering the ring in the final circle. Because of its many properties, the mother load can be combined with several legends on the Apex roster to a devastating effect. The most common use is Fuse and Horizon. 
since enemies that are trapped in her black hole will be highlighted and unable to run out of the black hole's range without touching the fire. There are also easy kills for the fuse himself, since he will be stacking grenades which can be combined with the knuckle clusters. You can also combine the mother load with Gibraltar's defensive bombardment, making it near impossible to stand still or stay behind cover. The Motherlord can also be combined with legends such as Bangalore and their smoke, or Caustic with his gas traps and ultimate to give your team an easy way to shoot enemies through the smoke when they generally can't fight back. Keep in mind that due to the nature of this ultimate, you want to be careful about using it indoors. Odds are that you are going to hit yourself if you use it under a ceiling. Okay, so I was thinking I'm gonna give you guys a really quick example of me dropping hottest fuse and kind of doing a quick team fight to show how you can use fuse on your own to create space and win a team fight. Now, this doesn't necessarily translate to actual uh, fuse gameplay in, in every situation, but it does probably help you a lot. So, off the bat, I'm dropping some uh, fuse tacticals to kind of just lay down the space and zone out the enemies. I ended up getting a knock from the one that my teammate was fighting. Uh, he drops off the high ground, but that doesn't mean I can't loot up a little bit. I want to be able to take this fight, take this squad wipe on my own, even if it's not there. So I'm just kind of grabbing all the loot that is available at Oasis, and I'm going back. I assume that because my teammate dropped down, uh, odds are it is probably not going to be... Or they're probably going to be a full team here, or it's probably going to be a full team here. Not with very good loot, because they dropped right here. Um, and we saw them not really get any loot. Um, but my teammate isn't there, so they must have rest. It's my point. So I walk up real quick, I look around, I take the space, and I take some shots here on the Octane. Good wipe, look for... Uh, now I'm trying to stick with the Knuckle Cluster, but I could also just try to space him out of uh, cover. I don't hit the stick, and I quickly take the high ground here, so I can just control the space, I don't see anyone else. I hear someone on my right, I switch to the Fermite, I know that Octane is low, I don't have my Knuckle Cluster yet, it's 3 more seconds. But I still pin it and end up hitting him, so he dies. I take the 1-1 one -one with the Lifeline, who didn't have armor because I knew, or a gun, we already knew that. So I get two, a quick double pump. Now we got the Alternator, I got the Knuckle Cluster, I'm looking for another Knuckle Cluster stick, and to kind of get him out of cover, this forces him forward, I take the 1v1, kind of low, whiffing the shots a little bit, but I end up cleaning up and getting the kill on the Wraith. And that's just a quick team fight example, and then I get third partied with no audio. <laughs> but that's just a t that's just a quick team fight example to show how you can space out enemies and force them out of cover using your grenades and the knuckle clusters. When it comes to team fights, Fuse doesn't have any movement or defensive abilities, which makes him very exposed to enemy fire. And if you are too far ahead of your team, odds are you're going to get punished and pushed real fast. As such, Fuse wants to play in the middle to the back of the team where he can lay down suppressive fire and good grenades to control the battlefield. Constantly using your grenades to control where the enemy team is heading is crucial. And looking for an opening where part of or the entire enemy team is exposed without much cover is important since combined with the mother load makes for a win condition for your entire team. Remember that in addition to the lack of movement, Fuse has a big square hitbox which makes aiming at him incredibly easy. Keep that in mind when taking 1v1 fights, because you are usually at a disadvantage. As far as the weaponry goes, you'll be benefiting from mid to long range weapons. Rifles such as the R31 or certain marksman rifles are good choices. I'll always recommend a shotgun because of old and current metas, but you can get away with some other weapon for suppressive or range fire if you would like, such as a sniper. That doesn't mean you can't play fuse aggressively on your own, but in team play scenarios you're usually best off taking a step back as a supportive role. If you want to see how an aggressive fuse can look, I dropped a 20 bomb on him chasing kills and using the tips in this video. That video is available on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.